I'm backing up my truck, I'm gonna hook it up, loading up my boat with all my gear. I've been working hard all week, trying to make ends meet, spending time wishing I was fishing. Oh, Terry Wickstrom wants to take you fishing. Gather up your gear and come along. Well, Terry Wickstrom wants to take you fishing. This is Terry Wickstrom. Join Karen Collum, Greg Collagio, and me as we take you to some of our favorite fishing spots from Colorado to Minnesota, the Arctic Circle to Central America and beyond as we revisit episodes of Mountain States Fishing and Angling Adventures Television on the best of fishing with Terry Wickstrom. Today I'm with Jason Mitchell of Mitchell's Guide Service and we're going to be fishing Devil's Lake in North Dakota. Jason, it's a pleasure to be Thanks in the boat with you. Up. I heard a lot coming. about you. You're the man out <laughs> well, here. Well, that's, if people knew how many days I've said, oh, you're not caught fish, nobody would hire well, me. Well, that's fishing. <laughs> but anyway, uh, we had a front move through and uh, what do you expect? us to do today? What's our well, plan of attack? What we've been doing, I mean there's a lot of different patterns happening right now, but uh, what we'll do today is there's some humps that come out in the middle of the lake and that, you know, there's, they come up to about seven feet of water and they have usually have some weeds growing on top of them and then the edges where it drops down into deeper water, that break line, we'll be targeting that. It seems like you can find the areas on that break line where there's some rock. That seems to be where the fish have been holding, at least lately. Um, and uh, so it's just pretty simple, you know, using a bottom bouncer, you know, first of all, to find that rock, that'll kind of pinpoint your help with your boat control. Then also it's pretty snag free. Using a fairly short snell, I mean, these fish aren't real sophisticated out here. You know, we've got a heavy duty fire line for the main line. We've got a pretty short snell. You don't have to worry about the fish spooking from the bottom bouncer or anything like that. I mean, these fish don't know what a bottom bouncer is. And that looks like it's and fairly light. A, yep, and then just a, uh, just a leech and, uh, you know, that float seemed to help. I mean, we uh, we just started adding that on and... Um, Keep it, it up out of the rocks? Yeah, and then probably helps with a little bit of visibility. You know, it's pretty stained water. It's an algae bloom that's kind of turned over, so it's it kind does. of got that dark color. It does look murky. Yep, and, um, you know, we just kind of stay on that edge and and, uh, and uh, pick away at them. And, and that's just one of the patterns that's going on. You know, there's a lot of different ways to catch them, but... Uh, so we'll start this way and see how it goes. Yep, then. yep. Well, enough talk. Let's get out there and give it a whirl. That sounds like I'm a looking plan. Looking forward to it. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> On here. Maybe I'll come with the net here. What do we got there? Nice eater. Good fish. Boy, are they fat. Right off the bat here. Nice work there. So, what's our technique? I mean, let's tell the folks what we're doing here. Well, we're working a. What we're doing is we're just working, uh, there's some sunken humps out here that we're working. Uh, on the edges of them, there's some rock, kind of some rubble on the on the sides of the hump, and the fish have been holding 11 to 14 feet. So we're, we've been just going through with a 
bottom launchers. Um, just working the brake line? Yep, yep. Do you find that they're hanging more in rocks than sand or? Every day is different, every year is different. Just the last couple of days, that's been the pattern. You know, by the end of the day, that might change, but uh, so far, that's that's what it's been. But every spot's different, too. Okay. You know, and there's a reason they've had uh, a lot of major walleye events on this lake. They, yeah. They come here for a reason. There's a lot of fish like this. Oh, yeah. And there's yeah. a lot of big fish, too. Yep. Yep, there sure is. Well, we'll let him get bigger, get back to fishing, and... Here we go. There it goes. All see right. if we can put a dent in the walleye population yeah, here today. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. of them. Let's get back at them. Little. They're little dickens. Well, that's good to see them in here. Yeah. What type of... No, what are the main species in the lake? Well, walleyes was probably the main one. And that's then, what uh, people come here mainly for the walleye. Yep, and then northern pike, uh, yellow perch, but that's more of a winter fishery. And then uh, there's some white bass in here. Lots of white few, bass. Yeah, few, very few crappies and very few tiger muskies. But most of the time, you know, most of the fish you catch in the summer is going to be walleyes and, and some pike. And winter is mainly perch. Yeah, it's, you can catch walleyes and pike that time of the year too, but uh, most. Most of the perch get caught in the winter, that's when guys are targeting them more. So. And I've seen some of the perch here. I've never ice fished for the perch. They're big. I mean, they some get over, Mario, yeah. sometimes you get one over two pounds, and that's a big yeah. fish. Oh, yeah. People always talk about two pound perch, you know, but. They're here, but like, they're kind of rare, aren't yeah, they? Oh, yeah. I mean, you, we, we'll see a few each year, you know, but it's a deal where, you know, people talk about buckets of them, so they're not weighing them. You know, I mean, a two pound yeah. perch is a true oh, trophy. Oh, yeah. I mean, I've seen the mounts of the, some of the trophies. It's just amazing. Yeah. Oh, there's one there. Ooh, that one's got shoulders. It's a fighter. Yeah. Boy, do they fight. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they're all carbon yeah, copy. They're all about the same, <laughs> same size, but they're nice fish. So Jason, what's a, a typical guide outing? I mean, you, do you offer half days or just full days? No, we just do a full day. We pick them up in the morning, go out for the day. Uh, you know, generally bring a slack lunch and stuff out. And uh, you know, if women and kids come out, you know, we can always go in and, and take a break somewhere, use a bathroom. Uh, and we get a little, you know, we get all kinds of different people. Um, you know, our primary focus in the summer is walleyes, but we catch a lot of pike as well at times. Nice fish. Yeah, that is. A, that's a chunky. Yeah. Nice oh, they're fat. all nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, there's a lot of fish. This is a big lake. It's 130 some thousand acres. Yeah. A big lake, a lot of fish, but a lot of places for the fish to be, and that's one of the reasons to get a guide. Yeah, I mean, a lot of guys, uh, they'll go out with us the whole time, and uh, we'll take them out. You know, we have two and three day fishing packages with the meals and lodgings, everything's provided. We also get a lot of guys that will bring up their own rigs and uh, uh, even if they're familiar with the lake you know some guys will come up and they'll hire us for one day each year just to get started in the right direction yeah. you know because there's a lot of places to eliminate and uh, um, and I'm the same way when I go somewhere I've only got four or five days three days or whatever you know you can spend half your time getting everything narrowed down so you catch fish on your last day or you can just take the shortcut sure. that's you, you want to make the most of your time yeah, that absolutely. makes a lot of sense absolutely and uh tip now we're here in uh, mid to late august and uh, it's cool in the morning there's a chill in the air uh, fall is just around the corner but yep. uh, a lot of good fishing left typically when does it start in the spring then the well you know our season doesn't close but generally speaking um you know our 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 fishing will get going you know about the same time as the minnesota opener that first part mid -May. of may yeah first part of mid-may and the water will warm up a little bit. Um, you know, you, you can target around the spawn, but you're either a hero or a zero. It's so hit and miss. I mean, you can, I mean, some of the most phenomenal days I've ever had up in that time of the year, or the next time you go out and it's just, you don't catch anything, you know, just, and so we try to steer people away from that. We try to steer it towards post spawn when the females have already spawned. The males are still lingering around mm -hmm. in some of them areas. And Let then, things stabilize. Yes, and once that water warms up, the patterns are pretty predictable in the sense if you have stable weather with warming water, the fish are all shallow. You know, and so then you're finding fish with your temperature gauge more or less. Uh, if you have really unseasonable weather or like really unstable weather, that'll push fish deep. And we have, we're on the heels of a front right here, so yeah. it's. We're working for a fish, but we're getting some nice fish. Yeah, yep, and uh, yeah, and there's places you can go and catch lots of fish that are smaller, that, uh, you know, that 15 to 18 inch range, perfect for a frying pan. 
there's a place where you can go to or you can just you know get fewer bites in a day but then target you know the the bigger fish and so a little bit of everything out here and then fishing as far in late in the fall how far do you go i mean like we'll run boats right up until freeze up uh falls really depend on the weather uh some years we get really nice weather and we're busy other years it's just you know, it feels, you know, it's like the most dangerous catch out oh, here. Oh yeah, you know? it varies. So, you just fish in uh, the fall until uh, waterfall season and then you... Well, even through waterfall season, we'll run two to three boats generally each year and... Uh, kind of a cast and blast type of thing? Yeah, a lot of guys, a lot of times, even if guys are here for the whole day fishing, we'll get started at say nine or 10 in the morning just because it's so cold right away. And a lot of times too, uh, you know, fish are cold blooded. A lot of times in the afternoon, that sun will be out for a little while and it'll warm up some of them spots and then uh, uh, that'll make you know the fishing better. It's kind of like in the springtime in the sense that afternoons are usually a lot of times better than mornings because the yeah. water temperature will bump up a degree or two. That makes a lot of know, sense. So, it's a good uh, way to go. Yeah. Jason Mitchell, Jason Mitchell's guide service. Give him a try. I'm with Maria Erickstead from uh, Lakeview Lodge on Devil's Lake, Devil's Lake, North Dakota. And uh, we're enjoying our stay here. And uh, you got quite a place. Could you tell us a little bit about it? Well, we have um, two and three bedroom units. They have full kitchens in all of them. We sleep up to nine in one unit. The big units all have two bathrooms in them. We started this as um, basically because there was a need on Devil's Lake. We actually moved the upstairs in and finished the basement as we went along. We've been open now seven years, so it's been going well. And uh, if somebody was to come up here, you have boat rentals? We have boat rentals. We also have a pontoon we rent out. We have our own private access for those that have their own boat. And not only fishermen. I mean, you get a lot of waterfall hunters. We get a lot of duck hunters, yep. Speaking of that, I notice in our room there's a gun safe. Yep, we have gun safes in all the units. That's pretty impressive. And it's not necessarily for the safety of somebody stealing your gun. It's more for a place to put your gun yeah. so you don't lean it against a wall and have it knocked over. Yeah, and, you feel and, comfortable with that in there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you talk about immaculate. I am very <laughs> impressed. Oh, thank you. That thing is, the, our room is spotless. And the <laughs> others are too because I walked around and took pictures. <laughs> we try, I try, but, but I have a very good cleaning crew and then I go through and make sure that they're doing what they're supposed to. So. And you have, uh, what, nine units and 51 beds? 51 beds, yep. That's, uh, that's a lot of people. And then you have uh, the fish cleaning facility. And John takes care of that. And that he is takes, very nice. He really takes is. Uh, good care of that. He gets upset when he's gone if I don't take good care of it. So. <laughs> that's his baby. Huh? Yeah, yep, that's his. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, we enjoyed our stay here. I'm good. And uh, I recommend anybody visiting the Devil's Lake area to check out Lakeview Lodge. It's just a super place to stay, and we'll, I appreciate it. We'll try to make you comfortable and have you, a good time. You did a good job. And she's always <laughs> smiling. Yeah. I like that. There's, there's one here. That one's putting up a good tussle. Yeah. Let's see what we got here. Nice walleye or a pike? Uh, it's acting like a walleye, but you never know. I don't dare say nothing. Nice, nice fish, nice walleye. There we go. Boy, are they husky. <laughs> yeah, they're fat, aren't they? They're not starving by any means. <laughs> they are certainly not starving. All these fish are just robust, big, big bellies on them. Yeah. Yeah, we've seen 20 inch fish in this lake that weigh four pounds. Wow. Uh, Look at that, that's a nice yeah, fish. Nice thick, fat fish there. There we go. Nice fish, good yeah. job. It's time now for Greg's Tackle Tip of the Week. Let's show them what we're using here well, for the rig. Basically the pattern that we're on right now, if you can imagine on the tops of the structure, I mean these, these humps that we're fishing, they come out to maybe eight, nine feet. There's some cabbage on the very top of it. On the very top of it, it's kind of sandy and gravelly, some mud. On the sides from like say 10, 11 feet, it'll drop down sharp to 14 feet. We're sticking right on that side, you know, and uh, in there, there's basically bigger rocks. And so um, the bottom ball, we, you know, we're using bottom bouncers. The nice thing about the bottom bouncers is it, 
it can kind of fine tune the pattern a little bit in the sense that, I mean, we haven't caught a single fish that wasn't on those rocks, on that ledge. And so you can kind of feel there's places where it drops down where say you got a hard muck or something where there's no fish here. But, you know, your electronics can tell you that, but your bottom bouncer can tell you that a lot better. And, and so, it doesn't take a lot to get down to bottom. I mean, this no. is a real light bottom bouncer. Yeah. But yeah, when you, so when you're on the right when you're on the right spots per se with those rocks, you know you know, and so um, and then it's pretty snag resistant. And then, yeah, and we're fishing and they're, fairly shallow. Yep, and they're cheap. You know, you break them off, you tie on a new one. I mean, it's you know, and then just so a plain. It doesn't smell. take a lot to get into some walleyes out here. No, no. That was Greg's tackle tip for this week, and now back to more angling adventures. I don't know what we got here. He this is might be a, on a clinic yeah, here. This is, might be a northern here kind of underneath the boat. A little, it's got shoulders, whatever it is. Yeah, it's uh, Is it a nice walleye or a northern? Ah, it's a northern. It's a northern. Oh. And there's plenty of northerns in Devil's Oh yeah, Lake. we haven't talked about the northerns yet. No. It's got an attitude. Yep. Come here, fella. There you go. Let you have the honors. Yeah. <laughs> so Devils does have a, a fantastic population of northern. Yeah, there's a lot of pike in here too. And the average size of a person was to go out for them is that's probably the average right there. I mean that's well, what that's what most of them are gonna run. And again, uh, a real husky fish too. They they eat well. Yeah, oh yeah. Uh, We've gotten them, you know, we, we'll see some fish in that, you know, that are legitimate 20 pound fish, but they're not real common. But lots of, you know, lots of three to seven pound, six pound fish. Those are substantial. Those are good fighting fish. Oh yeah, and you catch a lot of them. I mean, you come up here in the springtime, especially when those fish first come off the spawn in that shallow water and catch, I mean, you get tired of catching them. You can catch 50 of them a day um, or even more. Uh, but, um, you know, the big fish, you know, the, they, they, you know, we'll see them throughout the year. You never know when they're going to show up, you know, but... Uh, and your biggest fish northern out of here? I had one that was like 25, 26. It was, yeah, it was a pretty That's good a fish. That's a big fish. That's um, a big northern any place. I, yeah, I was fishing for walleyes. <laughs> <laughs> Go figure, when I fish for them, then I don't catch as big of ones when I fish for walleyes, it seems like. <laughs> Here's one. What's it feel like? Ah, uh, hard to say. Sometimes they get kind of feisty and they... Oh, there's a nice walleye. Look at there. There we go. Another nice fish. All right, look at there. Look how fat That's these fish are. That's a chunky fish. Boy, they're husky. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. Nice Jason thick. Mitchell's Guide Service. Another <laughs> yeah. nice one. Yeah. See, what is uh, the limit and uh, well, how many it, fish can a person keep? In North Dakota, Daily limit on walleyes is five walleyes per day. Daily limit on pike is five pike per day. Um, I mean, the pliers right back there. Uh, you can take home, your possession limit is twice your daily limit. So you can take home 10 walleyes. And there's no slot limit you can? No, no, there's no slot, slot limit. Like something like this would be too big to eat, you know, for yeah, most they are people, big. you know, but, uh, uh, you know, it was, Whatever a person wants to eat, you know, a lot of 15 to 18 inch fish in this lake uh -huh. too, you know. So there's there's sizes for, for everybody. Whoa, there we go. Nice fish. Good yeah. job. Yeah. Oh, Let's there. get back at them. Yep. All right. Ah. Let's see what you got here. Ooh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where are you going there, fella? <laughs> I hope it's not a northern. <laughs> yeah, you never know. Yeah, it is. <laughs> oh. just, just the way it ran. They're a lot of fun. And a lot of them in here, too. Get back here. They're all husky fish. Yeah. There we go. And get everything all wet. <laughs> I'll let Jason get slimed. He can, he's the guide. He's going to have to handle <laughs> that slippery critter. Now that's a typical size though. Yeah, there's a lot of them in here like this. I thought just the way it's, 
it hit the bait and took off running wide open like a freight train. Every fish we've caught though has been very, very hardy. Real healthy fish. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, if somebody wants pike action, there's a lot of them in here. Oh yeah, yeah, there's plenty of northerns around. Yeah, there is. They're fun. Yeah, they are fun. And they can wreck tackle. <laughs> I didn't get bit off, though. I lucked out. Not bad. This feels like a decent fish. Of course, they all do to me. I'm going to get them around to the other side here. Not a monster, but it's a, a fighter. It's got an attitude. There we go. Well, it yeah. fell off. And yeah. Right in the nick of time. Good job. Once they get in the net, they all count the same. Say it's getting late in the day here, and I've had a, a great day on Devil's Lake. I want to thank you for a oh, job well done. Oh, thank you guys. Done. Thank you guys. It was a pleasure. It was a pleasure. Jason Mitchell. Jason Very Mitchell's enjoyable. guide service. Well, thank you, you guys. You folks are uh, thinking about fishing the big waters of Devil's Lake. Make sure and give this guy a call. He'll put you on, his, on fish. And if he can do it to me, he can put anybody on fish. Thank you. I appreciate that. Hey, thank that. you guys. Thank you. We'll see you next week on Angling Adventures.